To feed a growing population, we need to increase food production without degrading soils and water resources. So that everybody in this and future generations will be able to grow or buy the food they need for a healthy and productive life. Mother Nature is a force to be reckoned with, but it is becoming increasingly clear that in terms of food production, she can only reach her full potential if we adopt a judicious approach to agriculture. This means making the most of natural ecosystem services by optimizing efficiencies in farming. In Vietnam, FAO is supporting a program to promote biodiversity use and conservation. Here in Hoa Binh province, in the mountainous areas southwest of Hanoi, members of the Muong ethnic minority tribe are now accomplished plant breeders. Thanks to weekly field school training sessions, they share knowledge and evaluate rice varieties. They perform crossbreeding to rehabilitate traditional rice varieties and even create new ones. Since the project began, yields have gone up and production costs have gone down. Eight traditional rice varieties have regained their original positive characteristics. And because of their suitability to the local environment, they will adapt well to a changing climate. There have been many changes. We have a lot of new knowledge and information. Before we had this technical knowledge, we didn't know how to look after our crops. Thanks to this program, we are now masters in rice. We have become experts. Farmer field days are held to celebrate and further disseminate these successes. Village officials take part in rice tasting sessions. And traditional Muang music and dancing unites this community in its quest to improve food access and quality for all. In Senegal, too, community is the key. This is part of the West African Regional Integrated Production and Pest Management Program. Field schools increase farmers' understanding of how the use of seeds, fertilizers and pesticides can either complement or contradict the biological processes. They also work on improving skills in marketing, economics and diversified production. One vitally important aim is to reduce the use of toxic chemical pesticides. The introduction of natural pesticides made with locally available plants is really making a difference. Chemical pesticide made more work and damage a lot of microbes. With a new pesticide, you just apply it, there is no extra work and you can sell all your produce. I have seen the benefits for me and my family. The chemical pesticide made me heal. But this new one doesn't. The chemical pesticide was not good. It was poison. Years of toxic pesticide use have left water sources contaminated and dangerous for human and animal health. Clean drinking water is available, but only at a price. So for many, the river and irrigation canals are the only option. Water samples are tested in this pilot project with an innovative invention called the passive sampling device. By providing a long-term measurement of pesticides in surface water systems, this will revolutionize the science of water quality assessment and ecotoxicology. The samples are tested at the Serra's Locust Tox Laboratory in Dakar. Here, an FAO project is supported by Senegalese NGO En Datier Monde and the USA's Oregon State University. Researchers are developing and testing a set of methods, tools and processes. This technology is critical to FAO's environmental monitoring work in West Africa and exemplifies what can be achieved when different parts of the international community unite with a shared goal. In the fight against hunger, all the key players must work together and with Mother Nature. We know how to increase food production. 
but to improve access to food. We must also push for social justice and better safety nets for the poorest and most vulnerable people in the world. To achieve food security for all, we must be united against hunger.